Over the past three years, we've amassed a video game collection of over 3,000 games and over 100 console variations. We've done this through garage sales, local pickups, gaming expos, and some amazing trades. The main problem is, of course, the space it takes up. The only place we have to store it all Ooh. is our living room, and it takes up an entire wall. It's always a little awkward having a repairman over. Hello, I'm here to repair your... Holy crap, there's a lot of things in here I can steal! Ooh, Zelda. Hey, how much is this worth? Sir, that's not for sale. Sir? So what the heck do we do with all this stuff? We built our dream retro gaming room. For those of you that saw our collection tour, you realize that we don't actually have a game room. We just have a living room full of games. How terrible. So we decided to clear out one of our spare bedrooms and see if all of our games will fit in it. It was the cat cardio room. We had three main goals in mind for this project. The first goal was to get the games out of our living room. Our second was to design a retro gaming area. And our third goal was to finally display some of our favorite gaming pieces and artwork. Step one was easy. All we had to do was just bribe some friends to come over and help us move. It's all gotta go. All of it. <laughs> bookcases to store our games on, so it makes it really easy to move them. Except for the fact that we have like three generations of them with mismatched hardware, but meh. Easily the hardest part about moving so many games is keeping them in order. We alphabetize everything. Except for that Xbox shelf down there because nobody cares. It's okay Series X, we still love you. You have the best controllers. We created a system in which we could move each shelf in a box on its own. That way when they went back up on a shelf, it wouldn't be too far off from its original order. What inevitably happens when you're trying to do all this game room stuff is you have to go to Ikea a bunch. Yeah. And uh, this is our third. third trip. We're thankful to have one local, but still sucks to do every single time. Yeah, it's not exactly close to us. So. No, not at all. Once the games were all moved, it was finally time to determine what consoles we wanted to set up. Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, NES, GameCube, Original Xbox, TurboGrafx-16, Sega Saturn, Dreamcast, Sega Tower of Power, and of course, a LaserDisc player. We found this fantastic AV splitter that'll work perfectly. We already had the Sony Trinitron just sitting around not being used. After hours and hours of running cables under, behind, and through everything, don't look back there. We finally had our dream set up. The next thing was to determine what we were going to do with the closet. Well, it's simple. We take out the doors, install shelves, put all the best console boxes and large special editions up top, and organize the rest down below. But what are we going to do with all those loose cartridges everywhere? We don't like displaying loose cartridges, so we picked up this awesome IKEA shelf called the Alex. I learned it from watching makeup tutorials. It displays all of the kind of cartridges that we need it for. And now for the finishing touches like display cabinets, couch, display shelves, and setzer, and special lighting. And, and finally, Some of you may have already realized it, but over the last few weeks, we've actually been filming in our game room. Pretty cool, huh? 
This wall used to be covered in games, but not anymore. So right when you enter the room, there's actually a wall of sus uh -oh. hidden behind the door. Oh my. Found some really cool, classic Dead or Alive posters, Laura Croft, classic. Uh, this is from Yuro no Naikuni, which is Knights of Azur, Japanese. And this sweet <laughs> Nights in a Dreams pillowcase. We wanted that on the wall at some point, so we could finally get it there. Love it. Uh, Zelda, Zelda, we picked this up at a yard sale for five bucks. Uh, moving right over, one of our viewers actually sent us this sweet Japanese wall art. Just some really cool Sega Saturn and various uh, themed JRPG good stuff. Our One of our favorite cloud posters, we found it a uh, half price books for a couple bucks. <laughs> five whole dollars. Five whole dollars. And then some other Steins Gate, Nintendo Power, just really cool little things we've always wanted to put on the wall are finally there. These small style banners are nice. These are all from Yoro no Naikuni as well, Knights of Azur, and then Hyper Dimension Neptunia 7 up top. We're big Resident Evil fans. Picked these up at a, at a local deal a long time ago with a sweet Leon Kennedy statue. Some of our boxed Vita consoles along with PSP Go, the white one and the black one, Aqua one, the red one straight from Japan. Such as trying to knock our stuff off the wall. Some of our favorite handheld consoles along with Elisa's pink PSP straight from Japan. This is a complete in box Neo Geo Pocket. And then some of our other handheld systems we had complete in box. And then of course our gaming center. It's playing Chrono Trigger, which is classic with all of our retro consoles all set and ready to play. We actually store our controllers under here. We don't like winding up cables too tight, so we keep them kind of loose in there, but we can grab these whenever we need to. And then we also have our VCR DVD player right here because we only play retro videos down here. Laserdisc, VCR, and DVD. We actually did a poll a couple days ago on our channel asking you guys what you would do if you had a dedicated game room. And most of you said you'd make a combined modern and retro room, which we agree with, but we just don't have room and we already have a big old TV downstairs for the modern consoles, so we made it a retro room. So this is a really exciting piece that we finally have set up. Finally have a home for it. We can just turn it on, play it whenever we want. It's our, it's my family's childhood Vetrex and uh, pretty excited to have it set up. So we have this really sweet Final Fantasy kind of display case going. Uh, Final Fantasy 4, this is a display store promo box. We got that for like 30 bucks. I'd love to find more of these. They are just so cool. Inside, we have a little kind of shrine, Final Fantasy 7. We have the collector's video, the PC version of 7. Of course, the giant cloud strife on his motorcycle. We have some music boxes that have come out fairly recently and collector CD. And moving on, we have some of our boxed Final Fantasy games, some Super Famicom here, and we have NES and Super Nintendo and Game Boy. Down here is kind of, we almost had a, like a perfect like white box thing, but Final Fantasy IV had to ruin everything. <laughs> Um, so there, here's the Final Fantasy X Vita Special Edition. Here is a VHS of Final Fantasy uh, anime. It is terrible. <laughs> Down here we have some of our special editions and regular edition 3DSs. We have the Yoshi. We got that one pretty recently on OfferUp. We got this brand new 2DS. Shout out to Chubbs B Gaming for hooking us up. And then we have the Black Friday edition and the white version of it. Interestingly enough, we actually have every American release of the Final Fantasy games complete in box. Not counting the online ones. We just weren't interested in them for the most part. Up here we have one of my favorite parts of the entire room. And that is our 2DS collection. So we actually have every American released 2DS console. We really like how they look. We like how they fit in your hands and uh, just really, really sweet design, even though they're kind of like a door jam as well. We don't have all of them complete in box, but there's all there, and then there's one more right here. 
This is a display box for Final Fantasy X-2, Persona 5, Special Edition, Shin Megami Tensei. This is the Japanese version of Ni no Kuni that came out for the DS, and some cool figures. So real quick, this is the Shin Megami Tensei shelf, although I do have Joker up here, but we have the, the loose Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Shin Megami Tensei series games. Down here is my Persona shelf. If you remember early on in our channel, we did a journey to Persona and got this for basically free. We just got this for my birthday. It's the Persona Q 3DS system. Very excited to have that. And here we got kind of a mismatch shelf. Uh, we have this big old slime controller for the Switch. Got that for a steal. We have some figures and we have some of the Dragon Quest games. We have a few yokai games over here and yokai characters. I adore them. We have a Dreamcast collection. We are trying to go complete uh, casually and we're getting there. We have some of the big hitters, you know, of course, like Ill Bleed. We actually have that sealed, which is kind of neat. We will open that and play it though. I don't care if it's like throwing money in the toilet. We will open and play that. I want to play some Typing of the Dead personally. Yes. The Dreamcast collection continues down here along with some Sega Saturn and Sega CD games. We're just recently getting into Sega Saturn and Sega CD, so it's a it's a new one for us to start collecting. Our Nomad with the battery back, beautiful condition, works great. A few Master System games, not many really. 32X, just some of the ones we wanted, and then it starts into our Sega collection. <clears throat> our Genesis collection is really just what we want to play. So we have a few of them, not a lot, but some of the main RPGs that we really want to play and some of the other games like shoot 'em ups that they do well. And the bottom shelf is our dark and lonely Xbox collection, along with some Xbox, uh, some demo discs for Dreamcast and Xbox. So we have some specialty shelves here. This is my pink shelf. I like to put all sorts of different pink items, plushies, pops, PSP, Sabrina, Kirby. I just love the aesthetic in there. And then we have a Miku shelf. We have quite a few Miku characters and themed items. We've even gone to a concert and an expo. And then we have some random anime figures. We do have the Xbox fridge here. Uh, you know, it is neat looking, but to be honest with you, if you're looking for a mini fridge, this is not the way to go. It's just a cooler and you can't leave it plugged in at all times. Next up we have our Zelda display shelf. A lot of little figures and consoles and you know, just some of the good stuff. Here's one of my favorite games of all time, Final Fantasy VIII, and a bunch of characters from it, along with a pocket watch. This is one of my favorite parts of it that I bought way back in the day. Look at that. You really can't find these anymore. Really neat little gem of the collection. Here's our Game & Watch collection. A mix of old and new. These were actually the first games we ever picked up at a yard sale when we asked for video games, and that's what got us addicted. Running through this stuff really quick, we do have our 3DS collection here. We are getting close to completing it. About 80 or so games left. These are some of our most expensive and fun games. The Lunar series, obviously, with the puppet. It's kind of a nice touch. Some Chrono Trigger figures. Really, really nice detail on those. Chrono Trigger itself, of course. The Pokemon Game Boy. Sealed Fire Emblem Fates box. Magic Knight Rare Earth, Earthbound. And then this is just a conglomeration of some of our new things we started collecting, our Turbo Graphics and Turbo Graphics 16 games, some 3DO games. Our 3DO actually just broke about a week into us moving into the game room, so we're getting that repaired. It's a general overview of our wall. We do still have a wall. <laughs> this wall probably looks pretty much the same because we transplanted it from downstairs to upstairs. Um, we can always go in depth into a particular console if you'd like, but um, let's move on to some of the new stuffs for this room. Yeah, so this is our wall, a lot of games, and we did finally install a display shelf for all of our handheld console boxes in the Game Boy series, so, and some DS. We're 
excited to finally have these somewhere that we can look at them and enjoy their aesthetics. And this one we actually picked up in Japan like seven years ago. So that's pretty nice. Now to the closet. This is where things get really fun. So this was a closet, then we installed a bunch of shelves and now it's for holding games. So up here we have our console boxes. Pretty much one of most of the major consoles each, including all of the mini consoles. And then down here we actually, one of our favorite things to collect are series of games, especially series of RPGs. So one of the series of RPGs is the Tales series. We do have all the Tales games that released in North America and some of them we have in these big box special editions. These are actually sealed and then these were opened. We even have some of the Japanese versions of the Tales series. Going down, we have just a conglomerate of big box 3DS along with some special edition other games, but most of this is 3DS. Going down the shelf, we actually have another series we've completed all of, which is the Senron Kagura series. Those are fun games. Uh, a really cool Japanese CL No Surge. This is in the R No Surge kind of family of games, but the, the Vita edition is beautiful, so we wanted to pick it up. Along with just a couple other series of games, nothing really stands out. That Japanese game is Konosuba. Next shelf down, Switch Special Editions. Lots and lots and lots of those. We really like our Switch games. It's a great, great console. And then the bottom shelf is just a conglomerate of the rest of our stuff. That is a Special Edition Japanese Switch fishing game. Pretty neat. And this is actually a lanyard of all of our pins from all the different expos we've been to and things. There's anything from, we did a Brave XVS Expo, Zapcon, to Game On a couple years ago, to SoCal. Just, just all the things we love going to. It's a great memory. Now to the other side of the closet. Hey, there's a TV. So we can play some video game related VHS tapes or whatever. But here's more special editions. We have some of the oversized special editions that are lined up here. And we have the Yeez series special edition boxes set up here. Very cool. So glad that we picked these up when we had a chance for the PSP versions. And then moving on down here is the Atelier series. And those have some really pretty artwork on them. Of course, the, the newer ones are huge! And then we have uh, just a couple of trails of Cold Steel big boxes. We have the full series, of course, but these are just the big boxes. Here's the Turbo Express that we just picked up recently. Down here is laser discs. Um, I'm a big fan of laser discs. I love the format of them and I, I would prefer to pick up things on Laserdisc than VHS just because of the quality of the video and sound is a little better and I like the form factor a lot. And we also have video game related records in, in the corner. We got Grandia. There's one for Persona 5. Very cool. And up top we have some pretty wild big box special editions that couldn't fit anywhere else. So some of our PSP boxes, the Dreamcast keyboard, uh, Blue Reflection limited edition, just random things along with this big box. You're going to have to check out a different video that's coming out uh, soon to see what's in that one. And then Nino Kuni, Time Crisis, there's our Xbox CIB. I <laughs> want to explain this one real quick. Yeah, so this is actually a food type Japanese RPG where you're cooking and we ordered one and it came without uh, the code was already used so we got another one so that we could actually play the game but this is actually a Joy-Con that has hot sauce. Think about a Food Wars style game but with Pokemon. Perfect. Po Pokemon food. Yeah very weird. We'll do a video on that at some point. And then last of all we just have this wall of art. 25th anniversary of Persona, Chris Tail, Zelda, FX Unit Yuki. And that's it. This is our game room. So comment below, let us know what you think of our retro room. This is this took us about a month to build. Um, after work every day on the weekends, had friends over to help. It was 
quite a task, but we're so excited to have it. Yeah. It's over. We did it. The game room is done. Now we can finally just relax and enjoy it. Looks great in here. Yeah. What the hell? Is, is someone in our house? Someone in our house? Oh, jeez. I hope you guys aren't relaxing. It's time for a game room tour.